الرحمٰی رسپیکٹڈ ویورس لیڈیز اینڈ جنٹل مین السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو دا پروگرام ون فورٹین ڈائلاگس وتھ قرآن ٹو ڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس سورت الحاقہ الحاقہ دا ایونٹ دا ٹروتھ فل ایونٹ دیٹ وڈ بی اکرڈ دس ورڈ ہیز بین ڈیرائڈ فرام The opening verse of the surah, Al-Haqqa, wa ma adraqam al-Haqqa. So, what do you know about the sure reality? You are unable to know what is the sure reality. Actually, it means the doomsday, the day of judgment. It is a reality, it is a fact and no one can change it. This surah comprises two rukus and 52 verses. It is a Makki surah. The main topics of this surah, first of all, it has highlighted the tragic story of various nations of ancient times who did not accept reality, who did not embrace Islam and follow their prophets. As a result, they met very tragic end. Among those nations, the people, the nation of Iran and the nation of Thamud and the nation of Ad, they were the examples. So the Meccans and enemies of Islam have been warned of their bad endings and consequences of their rejection. So this surah has also described that Quran is not a book of poetry or oratory. These are the words of Allah Almighty and it is based upon truth and reality. Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has not coined or created these words by himself. It is a revealed book and all the information, the sciences are also based upon truth and reality. This surah has also pointed out various basic beliefs of Islam. The first one is belief on Allah Almighty and faith on the system of, system of prophethood, the revealed books and especially the Day of Judgment. It was very difficult for the infidels and non-believers to imagine that all the dead bodies would be given new life and all would be held answerable for all of their good and bad deeds because they were much afraid of the consequences of their bad and dirty habits and manners and it was unimaginable for them how all these matters can be recollected and a grand court of justice could be arranged. Actually, they had not clear idea and ideology and concept about the sovereignty, supremacy of Allah Almighty. It has been explained that Allah Almighty is the Lord of this universe. He has created it and He knows each and everything and He will do justice. Uh, on the day of judgment thanks so nice of you